Hey everybody, this is Tom from Small Scale Life checking in with you. Hope you're doing great today. Thanks for tuning in. Today's uh, topic is creativity in gardening and uh, really focuses on repurposing containers, various containers this time of year. Uh, if you're like me, you've already started your seedlings for the spring planting and um, there's a bunch of ways you can do it. It just depends on how creative you want to be. You can do the simple thing and go to the store and buy flats with seed cells or, or just buy flats and plant directly in those. I've certainly done it even this season. Uh, but if you really get creative uh, and you're in a budget, really if you have a budget pinch, you can use everyday items for starting your seeds. And there's some really neat uh, ways you can go about it. I've seen people use milk jugs, uh, pop bottles where you cut off the tops and then put some soil in, drain some holes, add soil, put the seeds in, and then tape the top on. Uh, that's one way to do it. You almost create a mini greenhouse. Uh, the way I've been doing it here this year, which, I've, um, which I really like, is uh, I'm using a couple different containers in conjunction with seed flats that I bought from a big box store like Menards and, and those big seed flats are only, uh, they're like 11 by 22 and they're only a dollar a piece. Um, I did not buy the domes, actually I do have one, one or two on hand, but I don't use those. What I've been doing is I've been using containers like these rotisserie chicken containers and we eat a lot of rotisserie chicken here, but uh, you know, Sam's Club, pretty good deal, but really if you clean out the container when you're done, you get a nice terrarium. I mean, it's got a decent amount of space inside and uh, you drill holes on the ridges uh, and you can even put it in the valleys too, but that allows drainage and when you water, I've been water, trying to water from the, from the bottom up after I had some issues with dampening of fungus. So uh, with the holes in the bottom, it allows water to seep up into the plant and wick up into the soil. So these have been great. I've got onions growing in them, lettuce, kale. Um, and I, if I started over again, I would have started the tomatoes and peppers in these too. So I've got a few of these and they've been great. Another, uh, another container I'm going to play with here shortly uh, are our lunch meat containers. This one's from Sam's Club as well. Um, just a really great size and uh, pretty deep. So I'll put some holes in there, just like the rotisserie chicken, and uh, plant directly in it. And it's got a cover that fits right on top. It'll make a nice little green mini greenhouse. This white container. This one is actually a Chobani uh, Greek yogurt container. But it's just a nice size, and you could start something small in there. Um, you know, even if you don't have a lot of space, I mean, you can see on this uh, shelf here, there's not a lot of space, but I could maybe start some basil in there. So um, it's just a nice way to get, get things going, you know, on a really small scale. <clears throat> now, a lot of gardeners, they have the red solo cups, and uh, this one has some soil mix in it with a garden, with a uh, garlic clove. You can see it just sprouted up and it's doing really well. It's got some drainage holes in it. I just watered it so it's got a little extra water. Um, but red solo cups are fantastic. Uh, I've got a fleet of them and I'll be transferring all my tomatoes into red solo cups in their very near future, like within a week or so. I want to get those in red solo cups so they can really start to kick it and grow. Um, <clears throat> last tool, the last repurposing Everybody's got a water bottle. They're all over the place, right? If you have kids, they, <laughs> they you, you see water bottles like this all the time with just a little bit of water left in it. We've got a lot of water bottles here. Um, and I saw this great trick. actually heard about it from Nick Ferguson from Homegrown Liberty. But uh, I've got some holes drilled in the top. And it makes for a great, great watering device. Pretty accurate, uh, you know, and really gentle. More, uh, more gentle than a... Uh, than a watering can. Uh, not as gentle as a spray bottle on mist, but it does pretty nice. It, it, it does a nice job. It can deliver a lot of water in a short amount of time, or with just a couple squeezes. Uh, this one has a bunch of holes in it. Kind of see those. Um, I might create one with just one hole, and that would be for some really, uh, some new seedlings. So 
you know, get creative. That's the whole point of this video. There's, there, we have so many different plastic containers out there. Uh, you can really get creative and put your mind to it. Reuse this stuff. Um, and then when the season's done, clean it up. You can put it in the recycle or save it for next year. Um, I'm not advocating anybody becoming a little hoarder of miscellaneous cups and rotisserie chicken and meat containers, but, uh, uh, you know, you can reuse this stuff. So why not? Um, it's there, you bought it, so you reuse your resources. Again, make sure you drain, put drain holes in the bottom, let that water flow out, um, or in some cases, let it wick in. Uh, but your, uh, your plants will go great. I've got some pictures that I'll post on the back of this showing some of these rotisserie chicken um, containers or greenhouses in action. So uh, that's about it. So thanks for tuning in and check us out at smallscalelife.com. Take care.